Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is HP new laptop model number 14-EP0 and today we're going to install Windows 11. Alright, so first of all you need to create one bootable installer for 10 or 11. If you don't know, you can check the video link would be in the description. Alright, then once you connect it, then press and hold the power button to switch it off completely and then press the power button to turn it on and then keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS. So keep pressing it, sometimes it takes time. And now here is the main page, all right? So there are a few sections, as you can see, this is highlighted, black highlighted, it says main. So in here, we can see all the model numbers, processor and all other stuff, and then security. In here, it has to be like that. Make sure the TPM is enabled if you'd like to 11, Windows 11 and enhance the security. And then that is the third one. It has to be like that. You don't need to change anything. Now, here is the point. Okay. So there are a couple of options that we need to leave it on. As you can see, secure boot. The secure boot has to be enabled. All right. And if you'd like in legacy then you have to leave it disabled and don't forget to turn on the usb boot which is the second top option so go here if that is disabled make sure you make it enable otherwise your laptop wouldn't recognize any usb stick which is connected to the laptop because if we're going to do in uefi so i'm going to keep back to enable and pretty much that's all. It's very simple and straightforward. Now, as you can see here, this is the boot priority options. Okay, so that is my USB stick. I'm going to press F6. Okay, to go up. If you put F5, it's going to go down, I believe. So let's save it by pressing F10. And once we save it, it's going to restart. And we can see the USB light is flashing, means something is happening in the background it might take minute or half and then you're going to see the window setup is loading up all right so here you go now you're going to select whatever you need to select for me united kingdom and as you can see the trackpad doesn't work during the installation don't be surprised this is quite normal so i'm going to use temporary a USB mouse or wireless mouse just to get the setup done. Also, if you don't have the mouse, we can still get things sorted by pressing tab button to select it. I mean, to select and then to enter, we're gonna press caps lock button. By the way, we do have that one. So I'm going to use my external mouse. I'm going to accept the terms and condition. And now there are two options. Select the bottom one if you'd like to do the clean installation. And this is your internal SSD. So if you do have any data, it should be there. And before you delete or repartition, make sure you back up the data first. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. OK, so I just would like to have a single partition. So I'm going to delete all of them one by one. If you do that, you're going to lose the data, bear in mind. Let's do all of them. And I'm going to keep this one. This is the backup one. And let's put the size. You can resize it anyway, it depends. But I always prefer to have the C drive as big as possible. Right now, I'm going to choose the biggest one, which is that one. Where is it? Yeah. And once we hit the next button, it's going to copy everything. It's going to be quite fast because it has 16 GB RAM, Core i7, latest processor. Shouldn't take more than five to seven minutes.
all right so the finally the setup has done now we need to update this system uh you can check my another video link would be in the description how to update the drivers once you finish the windows installation okay so thank you so much for watching if you do have any question don't forget to leave it in the comment section and if you do like please subscribe thanks bye